Zoologist and bacteriologist Professor Dr. Gunther Enderlein has developed the examination of native blood in the dark field microscope. This particular microscopic method enables an observation of microorganisms existing in the live blood that has been detected and described by Enderlein. This procedure provides exact evidence of the composition of the blood, especially the condition of the leukocytes, the erythrocytes, the plasma and the microbes that exist in it. The examination of native blood in the dark field microscope is very well suited to make an exact and early diagnosis on the basis of the changes in the blood that precede the disease. With this method, the disease can be recognized in its early stages and treated accordingly. We want to share you the effect of EMX on the structure and function of human blood. Using the dark field method, blood cells are made visible, and with the phase contrast technique, even transparent structures like fungi can be seen in live blood. Thirdly, we will see coagulated blood, in which free radicals can be observed. First of all, we can see the blood of a woman who has used EM products in combination with a supportive dose of X for two years. In this picture, the erythrocytes are completely detached and the blood has an open structure. Transport of oxygen to the organ cells is free. Waste products from the organs are immediately removed. There is no blockage and the blood flows freely. There's no need for the heart to produce at high pressure to reach all parts of the body. Oxygen, nutrition, hormones, vitamins and minerals quickly reach their destination, the organs. Compensatory high blood pressure does not occur. This is what blood should look like. The patients we attend to have complaints that cannot be treated by regular medical science. By applying some ordinary basic rules for health, many problems simply disappear. In general, modern man eats too much protein, too many fats, carbohydrates and, on top of that, dead food, for example refined sugar, which cause large amounts of waste products. As we grow older, the enzymatic process decreases and because of that, our need for healthy food increases. Actually, in Holland, nobody has blood as clean as we have seen in the previous picture. Would this volunteer be an exception to the rule? We'll see. This is the blood of a 65-year-old man who feels vigorous and has little to no complaints. Our expectations prove to be true. In this dark field image, erythrocytes agglutinate. This leaves the door open for the development of common ailments such as heart diseases, hypertension, arteriosclerosis, diabetes, rheumatism and cancer, depending of course on genetic predisposition. Any layman can see that this is an unhealthy situation. Still, this person functions 100% and feels healthy. Therefore, this is a treacherous situation. Not surprisingly, heart disease is still the number one cause of death in Holland. Almost everybody has blood like this. The white dots are food particles that circulate freely. The lemon-shaped erythrocytes indicate that there is not enough enzymatic conversion of proteins to amino acids. The leukocyte in this picture shows little activity, both on the inside and out. This indicates a reduced performance. By means of the phase contrast method, we will have a look at the contamination and the microorganisms. The white dots are candida fungi. Black lines indicate contamination. Depoisoning mechanisms of the leukocytes are behind in clearing. At the bottom in this picture, we can see empty or ghost cells. Parasites have feasted on them. There is a greater breakdown of the blood. Therefore, the bone marrow must work harder to compensate. The energy needed for this is lost, and the result is that you can get tired more easily. In this coagulated blood drop, we see the free radicals as white spots. 
The more free radicals there are, the more the organism is inclined towards degenerative processes. In this picture, the surface contains quite a few oxidative materials. We take blood for the second time. Ten minutes ago, the patient drank 40 milliliters of EMX, and we shall now see the result when using the dark field and phase contrast methods. We see the same blood again. The erythrocytes are much more lively. The cells repel each other because they found their electric potential again. The blood is open. In this phase contrast picture, the spaces between the cells are cleaner. The candida has disappeared. It's also very important that the inner of the leukocyte shows more activity. It moves beautifully. And the conclusion of all this is that EMX increases the activity and functioning of both erythrocytes and leukocytes. At this point, we want to demonstrate the effect of EMX on acupuncture points. When measuring the acupuncture point that tells us something about protein synthesis, you will see the meter running up to 60. EMX is then placed in the medicine holder, which is electrically connected to a patient. When we measure again, we see that the meter has run down from 60 to 50, an improvement by 10 points. The explanation of the decreased measurements lies in the fact that EMX improves protein synthesis in that particular acupuncture point so that the organism will encounter fewer problems of the oxidative processes. This also means that at a score of 60 points, the organism has much more difficulty in producing all the functional proteins than should be necessary, in which case you waste energy, which is harmful for your vitality. After three weeks, we test the blood again. Meanwhile, the patient who was free of complaints has radically changed his dietary pattern, uses no alcohol, no refined sugar, but is still a smoker, eats EM-produced vegetables and uses 20 milliliters EMX twice a day. In the first instance, there appears to be more activity in the erythrocytes, but in other areas, the blood seems to have deteriorated. Deep poisoning from the organ cells to the blood and lymph system has probably started. Not until the body is completely free of toxic material will the blood improve as well. At this stage, it is interesting to observe the activity of the leukocyte. Using the phase contrast method, we can see it better. At the bottom of the picture on the left hand, you can see the leukocyte. It's very active and is slowly crawling out of the display. This indicates that they are engaged in cleaning up extensively. This enlarged activity of the leukocyte could explain the flare-up in some people. What we notice in the coagulated blood is that the dense clouds have rather dwindled down. The number of free radicals has shrunk. When we compare this picture to that of three weeks ago, you can clearly see the difference. Conclusion. After three weeks of EMX and EM food, plus the omission of dead food, the decrease in free radicals can be called striking. The macrophage activity has grown enormously, which has started clearing away pathogenic elements. A dangerous route to degenerative processes has now been blocked, and a new road to a better health is being opened.